We're getting picked up in like 45 minutes. It's mostly ready. Just need to put all these things over here. Oh no. Oh no. No. Oh no. Inside the ma my bag, my backpack, and then. Well, I mean, it disrupts everything. All right, most of the luggage is in the car. Then he's here. He's taking us to the airport. We're only 10 minutes behind the schedule we wanted to be, so it's okay. Go to Brazil. There's tra a lot of traffic going to the airport. There's a lot. Of we traffic. left the house like 25 minutes ago, maybe. I know. I wasn't very concerned until I remember what happened last time I went to the airport with Dan. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but now I'm concerned. <laughs> I'm now I'm really concerned. Yeah, you really should. <laughs> we almost missed the flight. He actually got out of the plane and the plane left. He <laughs> left him behind. I stole the plane. Like I <laughs> Just so we wouldn't just, miss it. Because they're still running on like, and waiting. I'm gosh. here like thinking because I was really sick and I was about to vomit. And so they had the pilot talk to me and everything like that. And then I finally saw you guys were on the plane. I said, no, I'm okay. And then I sat down thinking I'm a just just the best person ever and they were about to take off and I started vomiting everywhere they kicked me off <laughs> so he take off and we're like where's Dan is Dan on the plane and then they spent the day at my parents house <laughs> they went to my parents house in Tasmania while I was in hospital oh, it was pretty funny though. it was very funny <laughs> and also stressful how far do I live from the airport this is how far I live if I were to catch a taxi to go home they will get angry at me. Right, yeah. <laughs> right? Isn't right. that true? Except, in this case, the... Uh, oh, they will get a lot of money. Oh, yeah, get about four but grand. But most of the time, <laughs> if I were to catch a taxi to go home, they will look at me like, what? I don't want to take you. We arrived at the airport two hours before the flight. Now we're waiting in line for check-in. How are we? Happy. Yeah, Amelie's really bored. She wants to press the buttons on the camera. Oh, she's going to take a photo, is she? It was a bit stressful, but I think we we're gonna be all right. We're checked in. I just went to drop the oversized baggage like pram, my drone, and the car seat. Yeah, we have so many things. Well, actually, not that many, but we have things. Now I just need to find Shelly and Emily. They're waiting for me. And then we need to go through customs and security, and then we are off. And I think the flight leaves really soon. Ha. <laughs> all right, we've done. We've done everything. We went through security. Now all we need to do is walk to the gate and board the plane, and go to the toilet, and upload my vlog. Actually, it's uploaded. I need to schedule it. And. And that's it. I think that's it. Let me just say that this flight was quite a thing. It started as a nightmare. She wouldn't go to sleep. It was it was painful. It was so much so so painful. And then and then she slept. No no don't take photos. Don't take photos. And then she slept for like an hour and then she woke up because there was turbulence. And then after a lot, a lot, a lot of convincing, she slept for like two hours. And now she's electric again, which is good because even though in Australia it's, it's past her bedtime, in our current location, this is the time that we should be awake. And then when we get home, she can go straight to sleep because we're going to get to Florianopolis where my mom lives at 8 p.m. or something like that. It's perfect timing to go to bed. I'm probably going to be talking to my mom for like three hours while I'm trying to edit a video and she'll be like interrupting me. I can see it already. <laughs> it's going to be great. Like the old times. <laughs> See ya, sweetie! Bye bye! Bye bye! bye. It's got three more. Yay! Yay. <laughs> we arrived here in Santiago like three hours ago or something. We still have one hour, one and a half hours until our next flight. The great thing about this airport is uh, there's a playground right there. It's just it's wonderful. But we're so tired. It's like 4 a.m. in Sydney or something, or 5 a.m. in Sydney. So her jet lag is going crazy. She's not tired. Oh. She doesn't care. She's running around, going crazy. We just had lunch in this authentic Chilean, not really, American food place where the waiters and waitresses even danced. Here's a clip of it. Yeah. About an hour boarding your next flight and that flight will be three and a half hours long. And then we get to Florianopolis where my mom and my sister will be waiting for us, I think. Yeah, 
minha vovó? A Lili chegou. <risos> Tão confusa. O que, que foi? Ai, a minha cara dela. A vovó. A vovó. The end of the day, Shelly's already asleep, Amelie's already asleep, my mom is sitting on the couch with the dog. She probably has no idea what I'm saying, which is funny. I'm finished editing and just doing this just to say it was a long day. I'm done. I'm going to bed. And tomorrow. Tomorrow, yeah. I wake up and I'll be brand new. No jet lag. It will be awesome. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> My favorite comment from filming with David the Hospital is from Sergio Robbie when he says I have that shirt low, which is incorrect, because I have that shirt. You might have a shirt that looks exactly like that shirt, but that specific shirt, you don't have. I have it. I'm glad we set things straight. <laughs>